Excuse me. Yeah. Emily, I have a court order for you from John Durant, and it's not good. Durant will bully anyone and do anything he can. What, what, what is it this time? It names Emily as the person of interest in the disappearance of Michael Corinthos III. I brought them. It's okay. You can tell them. Come on. Tell someone Jason who really killed AJ. Hi, Jody. It's nice to finally meet you. It's okay. She's my friend. Jason doesn't like me. I can tell. Make him go away. Jason likes you. He just doesn't smile a lot. But he's my friend. Just like you are. All this means is they don't have enough evidence to arrest her, Emily. She can't leave town. I hadn't planned to. Well, then there's nothing to worry about. This is typical of Durant. If he can't come up with anything concrete, he resorts to intimidation. Durant probably thinks that he's going to put the screws so that way Jason comes out of hiding. That leaves Michael. Do not, do not let him do this to you. He knows the game, Emily. No, that, that's great, but I, I really don't want to keep you if you have to go. Will we finish? Yeah, I've already taken advantage of you. No, you're not taking advantage. You're Jason's sister. We're, that makes us family. You know? Listen, Durant must be out of his mind to charge Michael with murder. He's going to have a fight from half this town. Oh, he already does. All right, are you ready to go? Because we could share a launch. Okay, I'm going to catch up with you later because i got some things i got to take care of. You let me know as soon as if anything else comes up. We... Right. Okay. Thank you. Jason is staring at me. You can trust him. I promise. Is that right, Jason? Everything's gonna be fine? That, yeah, that's, that's right. I think Jody's scared of you because you might make her go home. You know what, Michael? Your friend doesn't have to talk to us right this minute. She can wait until she feels a little bit more comfortable, okay? Thanks. You're welcome. Jason and I, we're gonna go up on deck. So why don't you and your friend lead us up there as soon as you're ready? Okay. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, cool. Are you okay? How can I not see how bad it was? Michael mentioned his friend Joey it was around the time he started seeing Dr. Yeah, well, I Thomas. guess the brilliant doctor missed the fact that this kid's been hallucinating for weeks. Look, so did we. But you know what? It's not a terrible thing. Children make up imaginary friends not all like the this. time. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Michael is not like every kid, Jason. He has dealt with one trauma on top yeah, of another. Yeah, and that's exactly why we put him in therapy. Right around the time that everyone told him not to talk about anything, don't trust anybody, don't talk about AJ. Michael created Jody so he Say, could have someone to talk you're to. You're making her sound like she's real. Jason, I've read about this, okay? Traumatized people create alter egos, alter some things to absorb the hits that they can't take. It happens in child abuse all the time, trust me, okay? They separate them from themselves. Michael's not schizophrenic. No, he's not. He is not. He doesn't think that he's Jody. He's not turning into her. But he created her to have someone to talk to. I mean, besides Morgan and Christina, he's, he's an isolated kid, Jason. He said that Jody was going to tell us who really killed AJ. Maybe that's the reason she exists. So Michael could tell us? The only way he knows how. What's going on, Max? What's the emergency? Oh, oh look who runs oh, to the rescue. Man. You got a search warrant. You have become even more bitter and angry and mean than you used to be, Durant. You know what you really need? A date. I hear this, this website would be perfect for you. Cute. 
Oh, you're making your little jokes. I got a forensics team up in Michael's room. Looking for what? I'll let you know when I see it. You know what? This isn't even about killing AJ anymore. This is about bringing Sonny down, and you are so willing to use a vulnerable, scared little boy to do it. Yeah, well, Michael would be a lot less scared if he were at home where he belongs. The pillow that killed AJ Quartermain still carries unidentified DNA. All I need is a single strand of Michael's hair to prove that he handled the pillow that killed AJ. Your own grandson. Corrupted by this house. I'm not trying to ruin the kid's life. I'm trying to save him. I have to get used to Jason. He's like my closest friend. But when I was a baby, my mom was sick. And Jason took care of me. Jason hates me. He wishes I'd go away. Sam and Jason worry a lot, especially about me. They just want me to be happy. Grown-ups always say that. Jason isn't like other grown-ups. He has this thing in his head. He can't remember when he was a kid. But if I tell them that I want you here, they'll let you say. Once I tell them who really killed AJ, you won't want me around anymore. Jody could be Michael's salvation. So you're saying it's a good thing that Michael's hallucinating this girl? I'm saying that when he first got back from being kidnapped, his world was going to hell. Jason, he was curled up in a ball, rocking in a corner. None of us could get I inside Sam, his I know, head but to we, help we, him. We were patient, we loved him, we made him feel safe, and he, he started to come back to us. Right, right. But somewhere, somewhere, Jody was already being formed, Jason. It had to be for a reason. I know it sounds crazy, but this it had to be... This whole thing is, is crazy, Sam. I know, I know, but maybe Jody exists. To tell us the things that Michael yeah, can't. But, but, but Michael can talk to me about anything. Sure, Jason, sure. Before, AJ got his hands on him. He is so tired of being that man's victim. So what if, listen, what if Michael is telling the truth and when he went into AJ's hospital room, he was there, okay? And what if in the point of when he was hiding, and when Carly came in and found him dead, what if there was someone else in that room and really killed AJ? But, but wouldn't, he, wouldn't he have said something? Jason only heard for weeks from the people who love and trusted him that it was that everything was going to be fine. Don't worry about anything. Put it out of your head. I mean... Okay, so you... You think he's still suppressing what happened? Yes, Jason, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Maybe Michael created this Jody because the situation was so traumatic, he needed her to tell.